speaking speaking of of uh, of um, bougie and uh, highfalutin, okay. would you like to explain today's um, shmata that you're wearing there? Shmata. <laughs> that, right, that's so Hebrew for thing. <laughs> I don't actually. I don't know what the definition is. I, I, I used to listen to a radio show and it was an old Jewish guy, and he would use the word shmata to like about clothing or a jacket or whatever, like a shirt ish thing. Your shmata that you're wearing, so it's called a what? It's a men's summer kimono. <laughs> <laughs> it's a men's summer kimono, and honestly, this one's not my favorite. I just kind of wanted one that was a different color than the one that I had. Um, the one that I wore last weekend was, mm-hmm. is a little bit more of my favorite because it's got you know the embroidery and stuff. Yeah, because like it has like, uh, yeah, bougie uh, adornments on the yes. on the piece of extra material. It's it's how much how what's the temperature right now outside? Do you think? I don't know. Hold I on. Could, yeah. Hey Siri. What's the temperature outside right now? It's about 82 degrees outside. It's 82 degrees outside. It's 82 degrees outside. It'll probably get up to 90 today. Mm-hmm. And you're wearing two layers of shirt. Exactly. And pants, full pants. Yeah, I'm wearing jeans. And socks. Uh-huh. Yeah. Most people, once it gets to this temperature and even hotter, would just wear pair of gym shorts t-shirt because you have to wear something covering you to protect yourself from the incorrigible that's the wrong word the repulsive heat that we have here in the in the uh valley of the sun but you have two shirts on yeah no 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 i don't have two shirts i have a shirt and a summer summer kimono kimono. (laughs) exactly (laughs) this is not a shirt this is a summer kimono so yeah um I like the summer mm-hmm. kimono, and I like it because you can wear it crossed. The other one, you can only tie it from the front. Fist, fist length, there you go. You can only tie it from the front. This one, you can wear it crossed, and you can tie it from the front as well. So oh, so I, you could cross it, but have the tie hanging I loose? mean, I can show you. Yeah, let's do that. Do you want to do, do yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just okay. push the microphone out of the way. So right now it's crossed. <laughs> I'm trying to have the camera show it. So right now it's crossed, right? Okay. Right, and it looks like like scrubs, but you can untie it and tie it. It has it has three different straps on it. What's the strap underneath there? No, it has four. Oh fuck! Oh, no, pardon it does, me. It does have, yeah, yeah it what are four. the back straps for? This is for when you're wearing a cross. It looks like the thing that they wear at Benihana when they come and do the, yeah, the shrimp that. volcano and they fl- the onion volcano and the shrimp. You're actually wearing a uh, a penguin shirt. It's an original penguin shirt. Underneath. So you don't even get the... You don't usually wear um, uh, labels. Like that's like endorsement. Are they paying you to wear that? Because otherwise I wouldn't... You don't usually wear things that have like brand names on them. Only if they're like quiet, like this one, that probably will wear it. Hold on, it's not in not in camera view. There you go. You see the little penguin? It right almost there? looks bespoke. It almost <laughs> looks bespoke. <laughs> but anyway, the summer kimono, you can go ahead and tie it at the front. Uh huh. And you just tie it like that. That's so bougie. And it'll be a kimono that's just the other the one that you had is like cut with an like a square open at the bottom. Mm-hmm. This one is more like the one that looks like Benihana. So when you were wearing this the first time, and I said that you got really into your feelings, you got you got <laughs> a little hurt. I was because I I really liked it, and I was like, I mean, it's okay to like it. The guy at Benihana, he likes his too. I mean, sure. you have tied in two different places. Like it's it, it creates almost like another layer. If if you were just wearing another shirt over top where like it buttoned in the middle, mm-hmm. it would be just another layer. But this, because it wraps over the other layer, it's like creating a third layer of shirt. It's so extra. So extra. So extra. How much does one of these cost? They're not expensive. I forget. I looked they're, it up. They're not expensive. I think this one was 25 that's not a lot. It's not expensive. But it's also an accessory to clothing. It's not like the clothing. Exactly. 
Yeah. Now the the penguin shirt that used to be a company called Munsingware was the original penguin, and then they just became the penguin, and then Munsingware has its own brand. Okay. But uh, how much was that T-shirt? This one? Yeah. This one was? No, a different one. I, I, I yes, mean, that one. This one, <laughs> this one was just 20 bu- bucks at the Nordstrom Rack. Nordstrom Rack? You yeah. actually said that? You're yeah. letting people know that you shop like the discount section? Of yeah, Nordstrom's. I do uh, shop the discount section. And I told you last time I started thrifting, so uh, you might it's, see me it's at Goodwill. It's very, very <laughs> surprising to me. Yeah, I started yeah, it's it's not it's not what I would expect, but I was I can't remember where I saw this. I, I was watching something the other day where they were talking about extremely wealthy people. Um, there was a video of a guy who's like a multi millionaire, maybe even a billionaire, and he was wearing a shirt that had a logo on it. And this this was like a YouTube video or a TikTok or whatever. And they're like, the reason he's wearing this shirt is because they're paying him. Anytime you see this guy, and they showed like twenty other pictures of him super wealthy people don't wear clothes that have labels on them Mm -hmm. because they're like, I'm not going to advertise for whatever brand. Give me, give me a bougie brand. Like a really bougie brand. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Chanel. I'm sorry. Chanel. 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 No, say it the way you said it. Chanel. Chanel. (laughs) Chanel. You pronounce the L. You don't pronounce the L. You pronounce the A. Chanel. (laughs) Stop. (laughs) Say it again. Chanel. Chanel. Sh- oh, you're saying it, but it's really quiet. Because it sounds like you're saying Chanel. No, it's Chanel. It's Chanel. Chanel. <laughs> Chanel. <laughs> or Chanel. Yeah. What's like the Chanel? LV? Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like, they, uh, super wealthy people don't wear brands with logos on it. Yeah. Because they're not going to advertise for somebody else. They just... I mean, brands like... Louis, Louis Vuitton and Louis, uh, or Chanel. Chanel Do you notice some? that your voice drops when you say stuff like that? Like you're <laughs> like, so brands like Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. <laughs> Chanel. Chanel. Why do you do that? I don't know. I don't know. You, did you realize that you do it before? Or no? I I do it usually when I when I'm speaking like one of the other languages because I'll say it a lot in Portuguese and stuff like that. I'm sorry. Because I'll do it a lot in Portuguese as well. So when you're speaking in Portuguese, you'll go lower to say the name brand. I, I'll just do it lower for the language. Oh, okay. But yeah. you are, do you do it to emphasize the word so that the probably, volume? Probably, But yeah. it's not a conscious thing? And do you I, consciously do it or I don't, is it I don't think I consciously do it. No? Okay. I don't think I consciously do it. I'm just curious. It. No, I don't think I consciously do it. I don't know if I do that. Like, if do I do, I do that on stuff? No, do you keep, like, your, your tone throughout. <laughs> you your sarcastic bullshit tone. <laughs> And it's, it's what always. You to say. Your it's tone is always, always the same and it always sucks. <laughs>